Hello, this is Dustin Bison, planner with Clearwater County. Specific comments around resource extraction were not received as part of the formal MDP review. That said, there remains considerable interest and concern whenever a new or expanded resource extraction operation is proposed. Concerns include issues related to nuisances like dust, noise, increased traffic, and environmental impacts. Resource extraction development is listed as a discretionary use in the Agriculture, Industrial, and Forestry 1 district of the county's land use bylaw. Decisions on development permit approval for resource extraction are made by the county's Municipal Planning Commission. The current MDP has policies that discourage the encroachment of incompatible uses in areas of active and potential extractive resource development. Things we need to consider are aggregate is a valuable non-renewable resource. The ability to access aggregate influences the cost of construction. It is an interim land use with reclamation. There are compatibility issues with other uses. All parties need to be able to provide input. Suitable background information is required. To provide appropriate assessment and control over aggregate resource development and to balance the economic importance of access to aggregate resources with other land use planning considerations, the MDP could take the following approach. Acknowledge the importance of access to aggregate resources as a community. Continue the practice of requiring information to evaluate applications and require open houses. Direct new residences away from known resources. Make new and expanded aggregate resource extraction subject to a requirement to go through a rezoning process to facilitate specific evaluation of individual sites. Amend the land use bylaw to create a direct control district for aggregate resource extraction that makes County Council the approval authority for redesignation as well as the development permit. Recognizing that the decisions made by Council to approve a development permit under a direct control district cannot be appealed by the applicant or adjacent landowners. It ensures that the information about each proposal is available upfront for all interested parties to review and that the public hearing process enables all interested parties to present to Council. Use the direct control district to establish, when necessary, specific requirements for a proposed project to address land use planning concerns. Sections 8.2.26 through 8.2.30 of the bold and strike through of the current MDP document, which can be found on the county's website, address the proposed changes. You can also find the draft sections in the special MDP edition of the Clearwater County Highlights newsletter. To find out more about the proposed changes, visit Clearwater County's website at www.clearwatercounty.ca slash mdp and watch for the special edition of the Clearwater County Highlights newsletter on the MDP. To provide us with your comments on the material, you can do the following. Email us at mdpreview at clearwatercounty.ca. Fill in the comment box on the county webpage. Mail in comments to planning staff, drop off comments at the planning department, or call us at 403-845-4444. We look forward to hearing your thoughts on the possible changes. We would appreciate hearing from you by September 30th, 2020. Are we on target?